Okay, we we've got what potentially is pretty major news that has broken in the last 24 hours uh, related to a bunch of different issues. And I want to start with sort of this setup, which is that under most presidencies, the statements of European sex workers, escorts, as they are sometimes known, they don't really become relevant in our understanding of how the president came to power in the United States. It's sort of irrelevant. This is a different sort of administration. And the New York Times is reporting. It's not Infowars. It's not whoever. It's the New York Times that a Belarusian escort who's connected to this Russian uh, oligarch Oleg Deripaska has 16 hours of audio recordings, which she says prove that Russia meddled in American elections. And you might remember Oleg Deripaska. He's the Russian billionaire that's connected to Vladimir Putin, uh, who also did business with the indicted Trump campaign chairman Paul Manafort. This is an escort named Anastasia Vashukovich. And prepare yourselves for the same people on the left who claim to defend women and argue that everyone should be treated decently regardless of their occupation. Be prepared for that element of the left who is uh, also part of the Russia denier crowd to smear this woman because of her position as an escort, which they've already started to do. Anastasia Vashukovich is currently in prison in Thailand, and she's saying that she will turn over 16 hours of recordings to the United States if the U.S. grants her political asylum. How insane is this? She's currently facing charges in Thailand for allegedly working there without a visa in a sex training seminar. And the frequency with which porn stars, escorts and prostitutes are coming up in relation to the Trump administration is truly stunning. And I actually don't think we have to make any evaluations of her credibility on the basis of her job. Either the recordings exist or they don't. Either the recordings point to Russian meddling in Trump's election or they don't. And you might say, well, David, is there any reason to think that this random escort who's currently being detained in Thailand might even possibly have these recordings or is this sort of appearing out of thin air? Well, last uh, night or the night before, there was a 25 minute video investigation that was posted by a Russian opposition figure named Alexei Navalny, which contains many videos and pictures taken by this woman. So at minimum, we can say she has provided videos and recordings previously. The ones that have already been released uh, are videos where she says Deripaska would meet with Paul Manafort. Manafort would give Deripaska information on the Trump campaign and then would get paid for that. And the presumption, of course, is that Deripaska would then go and directly brief Vladimir Putin about what was going on. She says she was modeling when she was sent to a yacht owned by Russian oligarch Deripaska, that the recordings contained admissions related to Russian American rela relations and interference. And she claims that some of these recordings contain specific discussions about the 2016 American election. The most important line from the New York Times report could be that some of the recordings she claims to have involve conversations with three people who spoke what to her was fluent American English that she believed to be American. If the tapes exist, and they are what she claims they are. I wonder who those three Americans might be. I, I don't know, but I would be very interested to know. And I hope that the tapes, if they exist, have been copied and that some kind of fail safe is in place in case harm comes to her, because yeah. that's what I'd be worried about right now. And there's no greater evidence than tapes, it seems. I mean, you, you think about what brought down the Nixon administration. Yep. It was the tapes, what nearly brought down the Trump campaign, the Access <laughs> Hollywood tapes. That's exactly so right. So this could be big. And I like that we even still use the word tapes. Like at this point, they're probably not even really tapes, but it has this sort of aura around the use of the word tapes. Now, alternatively, we can refrain. It's fake news. Nothing to see here. My concern is if it's true that Trump is compromised by Russia, it might not be safest for Ms. Vashukovich to go to the American State Department for asylum, right? She might actually be better off going to the Netherlands or Germany or somewhere else because we don't know, depending on who's in charge of granting her asylum in the United States and depending on which, if any of the allegations 
uh, about the current administration are true, I don't know that the people making the decision about her asylum would be inclined to say yes, specifically because they might not want these tapes to be released. There is no doubt in my mind that if she truly has 16 hours of tapes, as she describes, she is certainly not safe in a Thai prison. And hopefully this is going to be uh, hopefully we have news about a change to where she is sooner than later. I'm on Twitter at D Pacman. The show is on Twitter at David Pacman show. We'll take a break and just a major breaking news day today. Today's program is brought to you in part by Blinkist. So you read books, I read books. And if you're at all like me, you probably don't have time in your schedule to read all the books that you want to read. There is an entire world of nonfiction books out there that could really feed your knowledge and intellect. But the sad truth is that you're only able to read a tiny fraction of those books. But what you could still do is absorb the most essential knowledge from the books that you don't have time to read. And that's exactly where Blinkist comes in. It's an app that takes nonfiction books, pulls out the most important points and insights from the books, and it puts them in a condensed sort of package form, which you can either read or listen to in about 15 minutes on your mobile device or tablet. And over 4 million people are already using Blinkist. It made the iTunes best apps of 2017 list. And you can choose from a selection that is huge, thousands of books, all of which you'll have access to as a Blinkist subscriber. And you can switch between text and audio, both online and offline, get personalized recommendations based on the books you've already chosen. Blinkist is free to try and membership after that is only a few bucks a month, but you can get a 20% discount if you go to Blinkist.com slash Pacman. And if you're watching on YouTube, we are linking to Blinkist uh, and our link in the video description. One more time, that is Blinkist.com forward slash P-A-K-M-A-N.